Um, I don't think it's a, it's a burden. I, I think of it as an honour to be able to represent all the millions of people whose lives, livelihoods and jobs depend upon me doing my job to communicate their needs and concerns to government. So I'm always really privileged to be able to speak on their behalf and give a voice to them. I think it, to be Minister for Hospitality, you need to first be an MP and be part of the government. And at the moment, I don't have any ambitions to go to the House of Commons and, and be a minister. So I'm quite happy doing what I do, which is being the equivalent of the, the industry's voice outside um, and helping ministers to make better decisions. So I'd look to work with the Minister for Tourism, as I have worked with the Minister for Food, the Minister for Small Business and the Minister for Tourism over the last crisis to get a better deal for hospitality going forward. Yeah, people ask me all the time how I'm doing. So, I, you know, our industry is very collaborative, very collegiate. And I think that's what's been inspirational throughout this crisis, that we've all looked out for each other. So members check in on me, individuals on Twitter. Um, it has been a marathon interspersed by a series of really intense sprints. Um, and it's not just me, it's a whole team who is behind me, both working on the lobbying side, the communications to the media, and also the membership support, advice and guidance that the whole team's working on and we've got a really dedicated team so I, I'm there to, to sort of check in on them support them help them through that and I rely on, on the members in the industry to give me the inspiration to keep me going <laughs>